This is a test drive of the item catalog. And the item catalog is your key to consistent, profitable estimating. Think of an item catalog like a list of all of the crews and the equipment and the materials you might use when you're estimating. Each one of them will have a calculator that'll help you calculate the exact costs. Then it'll pull from your budget the right amount of overhead to add and come up with a price based on a profit margin you want to make, which you can flex on different materials, etc. But your item catalog is what makes estimating consistent and profitable across anybody who builds a bid. All an estimator needs to do is pull the crew and the equipment and the materials needed to do a task, and all the costs and prices will be calculated accurately for them without them having to do any thinking. It's what makes LMN fast. It's also what makes LMN repeatable and systemizable so that you can grow that part of your company without having to be in a chartered accountant to understand how to estimate. So let's take you on a quick tour. Now remember, the purpose of this tour is not to tell you how to use each and everything. We'll get to that in the help videos. If I go to item catalog, you can see there's lots of different types here. I'm going to start with labor. So this would be my list of crews. Now, if I actually wanted to build a crew here and calculate all the costs and prices, I'd recommend you go to the help button. That'll take you through all the details of what we're going to show you. But I'm just going to take you through the sample, which for a test drive is maybe what you should do to get started. Just see what LMN does before you put too much effort into getting you set up. All right, I'm going to jump into install labor. So this would be an install crew. It starts with an average wage, and there's a calculator here that'll help you calculate that. Same with overtime factor. It'll unbillable. Make sure it adds to that cost at expense for time that they're working and being paid, but not actually on a job. So you're not charging for their time. We need to recover that when we bid jobs. Uh, then you've got labor burden, which is your payroll taxes, etc. Then it reads your budget's overhead markup, comes up with a break even, and then reads the profit from the budget or your custom profit or custom price to arrive at the actual hourly rate per man for that crew. And we do that for all the crews you have in your company. Same thing for equipment. You're going to plug in the different types of equipment you have in your company. And again, if I open, say, a skid steer and go over to the calculator, there's a calculator here that'll say, okay, how often do you use it? And what do you pay for it? What's it worth at the end of its life? And how much do you spend a year on maintenance and fuel? And it's going to come up then with an hourly and a daily cost that you can use when you're estimating. And again, whatever your plan for equipment is, whether you buy brand new and keep for three years or whether you buy equipment and keep it for 20 years, your costs will be accurate and they'll be fed to an estimator. And you'll know that's recovering all your equipment expenses plus some company overhead so that an estimator can actually add equipment to a bid and have it accurately priced. Your materials may seem like a daunting task. You could use thousands and thousands of materials in a year if you're design build, but we make it easy. You can import materials for, from a spreadsheet. So you can get your vendors to send you an Excel file of all their materials and costs. You can import that into LMN. And even better, you can import it next year and it won't add more materials. It'll just update all your existing materials to the right costs and prices. Super handy. Uh, subcontractors is where it would go in here. Other is where you're going to put things like rentals and permits. And again, calculators for each one. Production rates is where you're gonna establish your rates of production. So now we're gonna make estimating even easier. We've made it simple for an estimator to know the right costs and prices for everything, but how do they know how long something should take? That's what production rates do. For example, here on mowing, and you can see in your trial account, we've set up some sample production rate calculators. Now again, we don't advise you use our production rates. They're just samples, you should use your own. But here I can plug in mowing with a 36 inch deck, Square foot is the units of measurement, and we can install or we can cut 58,000 square feet per man hour with this. With a 30-inch deck, we might only do 32,000 square feet per man hour. And with a 20-inch deck, it's 18,000 square feet a man hour. But now you can see how we have production rates that, when we're estimating, an estimator will just pull up this production rate calculator, enter the measurement of the property, and it'll automatically calculate for them how long that task should take. So you can delegate estimating now to just about anyone, although an estimator should, ha should have a good sense of how long things should take and all the different variables on a site. So we can do that for things like mowing, for things like planting. I can put my different size pots in here and how many pots I can plant an hour. Uh, snow plowing, if you're into snow, you can simply park parking lots in acres, say with a pickup truck or with a skid steer or with a loader, 
all your different rates so that whoever's estimating simply needs to know the size of the area they're estimating and whether it's maybe an easy, a normal, or a difficult lot, and we'll apply the appropriate production rates to that. Templates are another great tool. And again, lots more help on setting these up. We're not trying to help you set it up here. This is just an overview, but templates make installation estimating super easy. Production rates are great for labor, but what about when you've got to build a driveway? That's where a template comes in. So I can build a driveway template that includes the labor, the equipment, and all the materials required to build a driveway. If I go over here to the production rate, you can see I can establish things like every 100 square feet, we're going to need 3.7 ton of gravel. My template gives my estimator a complete list of all the things they need to think about on each and every driveway so nothing gets missed. And on top of that, it practically calculates for them exactly how much of each thing they're going to need based on a measurement. They just need to know enough to go up or down based on site-specific uh, variables. And also in the element estimating catalog, you can set up things like categories of materials. And this is also where you'd set up your sales taxes or purchase taxes so that you can build those into your estimates as well. Item catalog is fairly simple. Lots of help buttons on every screen to help you get through that. What you're going to get out of it, super accurate costs, profitable prices, a standardized way of estimating, that makes it really fast and really accurate and a list that you can easily import and update. And if you need some help, reach out to us. You got the help button, which will give you self-guided help. If you're still stuck, hit us up on chat. We'll one-on-one -on -one chat with you and make sure we get you past your problem or use support at goelemen.com and email us. Whatever's most convenient for you. We've helped thousands of contractors just like you get this set up. We'll help you too. Thanks.